Hi, I'm Toyota Girl and welcome to Horses 101, How to Tame a Wild Horse. Now these horses appear all over the map, there's dozens of spots for them. Um, so I am currently just southwest of Velia Town. And I have seen two wild horses here before, but the last few times I've been here I've only seen one. So currently in front of us we have a wild horse. Tell the difference, he is moving around on his own, he is walking, he is running. And if we run up to him, he'll take off. Which is helpful, because I didn't really want to try and video him around a tree. So I have the on-screen display up so you can see in real time what keys I am hitting on the keyboard. Now, taming a wild horse involves mini games, it involves two little mini games. So the first one is when you first rope him, you will have a mini game where you have to press spacebar in the appropriate spot to actually lasso him in the first place. Then as you are trying to run in on him, he will rear up and you will have another mini game of smashing your spacebar until the little timer runs out. So hence why I've got the on-screen display up. So the first thing you really want to do is you want to make sure that your ropes are down on your hotbar this makes life a lot easier than trying to click on your inventory. And here we go, we'll start this off. So now we have our rope up. When you get the horse within range, you'll have the little reticule on him, the little targeting reticule. And when you're ready, you will hit the left mouse button to actually throw the rope at him. You want to make sure he is not moving because if he moves, if he runs, it will automatically fail. So generally, be careful if the horse that you have found is anywhere near a cliff, or whether it be a cliff that you can fall down or a cliff that you can't go up, because he will get jammed and you won't be able to actually finish the taming. So if this little bugger will actually stop running amongst the trees, it will make this a lot easier. So here we go, he's out in the open now. He's walking, there we go, and hit it in the red little bar. And here's the first mini game, smash space, you'll see just under where it says space bar, there is a little timer. When that hits zero, you want to stop smashing. Start walking towards him again, there he goes, and start the space bar again. You want to watch him, not the guidelines on your screen because this he will actually start to rear up and then this game will come up depending on your ping and he's going for a third one wow this little bugger does not want to be caught he's a fighter so time to hit zero and we stop smashing when you get close enough you'll come up with the little thing above him you want to hit the bottom one which is use item feed him a sugar lump you can feed him one sugar lump, you could feed him two sugar lumps, you could even feed him five. However many will potentially increase your chance of taming him. When you have done that, press your R button or click that. And I failed. Wow. That's great, just because I'm recording. So, let's try this again. Wow, I'm doing really well today. This is awesome. Try the rope again. Wait till he stops moving. Time to hit zero, walk forward. He's rearing up, start smashing spacebar. Feed him a sugar lump. Maybe this time we might feed him too, since he obviously doesn't want to be caught. 
Got news for you, buddy. I'm going to catch you one way or another. Did I really just quote Blondie? Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, this one's got a real attitude problem. Maybe third time lucky. Hopefully. I suppose the advantage of failing this a few times has given me a couple of chances to show off the minigame. Right, sugar lump. We'll give him a second sugar lump. Now, come on, be nice. Be nice. Come on. That's it. Right. When you actually succeed on getting on the back of your horse, you can hit your map, find your nearest stable. So the nearest stable to me at the moment is Velia. And then run there. Now, little warning, if you press your auto run, like I've just done, he's going to walk the entire way. So, you want to do this manually, and he'll trot the entire way. But if you can really call that a trot, I don't think it's much of a trot. It's more of a fast walk. So anyway, I will speed this up to save time. So, here we are at the stable hen. It is now safe to actually hop off your horse. You walk up to the stable head, interact with him, go to stable. There's your new tamed horse right there. Register the wild mount. Give it a name. What should we call this one? I don't know. Blinky. That sounds good. Eh. <laughs> so, there we go. Now, he is a T1 male. You can now ride him around, use him for whatever you want, level him up. Oh cool, he's got sprint as a first skill. That's pretty awesome. So that is Horses 101, Taming a Horse. Thank you, and I will be back with more horses videos. Thank you for again.